Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. Today we are going to discuss linked list concept in a data structures and algorithms. Linked lists. So, first of all, what is a linked list? A linked list is a dynamic memory allocation collection type. First one, this is a collection type, nothing but collection of elements like uh, arrays, stacks, queues, but this is not static, right. It is impossible to create a static linked list. There is no fixed size of a linked list. A linked list is always dynamic collection, always a dynamic collection. So, what is the advantage of a linked list? So, when compared with the arrays and as well as the stacks and queues, the best comparison right array versus linked list. So, why when we are using ok. For example, if you take one array, if you take one array, whenever we want to insert an element into array. For example, here some of the elements are there 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 60, of course, it is a linear data structure. Suppose I want to insert a new element here, 100 I want to insert. I do not want to replace, remember, I want to insert an element into array. So, then what will happen first it has to shift all the elements because directly if you insert the 20 will be replaced of course, we lost the value 20 data element. So, first we need to shift all the elements by one location by one location and then we have to insert 60 come to here 50, 40, 30, 20 and then 100 will be inserted here. 100. So, this is called insertion of an element into an array, but here it is to shift the elements to insert an element in a particular position of array, it will take a lot of time right. Accessing is very easy in arrays, reason it is an index based and using some internal pointers concept right, easily we can access the information in arrays. Right, but whenever we are trying to insert an element or if you are trying to uh, delete an element, then it will take a lot of time because shifting of elements. For example, if you want to delete 100, then again we have to shift all the elements, all the elements. Here it is only 4 5 elements are there, but collection is nothing but uh, in a real time lakhs of lakhs of elements we are storing. So, by that time, right, instead of using arrays it is better to go for stacks, stacks ok, right. Instead of stacks and queues, so very important one is a linked list concept. In a linked list, right, insertions and deletions are much faster when compared with arrays, stacks and queues, right. See here, for example, how to insert elements into linked list, how it will become much faster right see. So, generally if you want to store elements into linked list, the data will be stored in the form of nodes, in the form of nodes, node is nothing but a memory block right. How the memory block will be see, how the elements will be stored in a linked list right. For example, if you want to store some of the elements like 10, 10, 20, all these are individual blocks. So, there is no a sequential order, there is no linear data structure concept, there is no linear data structure. Of course, processing is nothing but uh, in the form of a linear data structure only, but storing right not in a side by side memory locations, no consecutive memory locations concept. For example, first element, it is a block memory allocation just consider 2046. Next suppose this is 5048. So, there is a connection sir, how we are connecting? 
five zero four eight we are collecting connecting into another field that I'll show you. Different types of linked list we have single linked list, double linked list, circular linked list, and all. So there we'll discuss more briefly. And here it is. Here it is a five zero four eight we are storing, and here it is suppose nine double zero two that we are storing here. Next for example seven zero five two that we are storing here and it's a link. Simply this is a link part. This is link part. So for example if you want to insert a node in between twenty and thirty no need to disturb anyway. These locations are not sequential locations random locations. Using any expression or using any formula, you cannot access right the elements of linked list directly. Impossible. You have to travel from one node to another node until right. You will get the intended node. For example, here I want to insert an element. Just consider fifty, fifty, and then we should break this one. We have to connect like this, and we have to connect like this. Then the new element will be inserted in between twenty and thirty. For that, no shifting of elements. So easily we can insert and delete the elements from the linked list. So this is the only advantage when compare with the uh, arrays. When we go for linked list instead of arrays, this is only the reason. Okay, and uh, how the nodes we are storing. Right? How the memory we are allocating to nodes? So, what is the structure of node and all? We'll see. So, how the node structure will be? So, generally, generally we have three types of linked lists. So, mostly, so we are using in algorithms three types of linked lists. First one is a single linked list. Single linked list. Second one is a Double linked list, double linked list, and the third one is a circular linked list. First one is a single linked list, second one is a double linked list, third one is a circular linked list. In a single linked list, how the node type will be? How the node type? Here it is. A minimum. It is having two fields. This is what we called node. Node, sir. What is this? How you will create node in a program? Very simple. A user-defined data type in C language that is none other than structure. See, struct, struct node, struct node, and how many things? Two fields. Sir, first one is what? First one is a data field. If you take only one integer, here it is a one field. Sir, suppose I want to store employee information like employee number, employee name, and employee salary, then three fields: employee number, employee name, employee sal. But this is link field. This is added field. Is compulsory. So whatever the data, no matter link field is mandatory. This is pointer field, link field. Sir, how the node structure will be clearly? That we'll discuss. Okay. So whenever we start discussing about a single linked list, by the time I'll explain very clearly. Okay. Next, come to that part double linked list. Here, here node, and here it is. The node is having three fields. Node is having three fields in single linked list. So node is having two fields. Two fields. One is a data field, and second one is a link field. And in this double linked list, a node is having three fields. This is data, and this is a right side link, R link, right side node link, and this is left side node link, that is L link. These two are pointer type because which is holding address, not data. This is double linked list. And next one, circular linked list is also same, just like a double linked list only. The node is having three fields. The node is having three fields: data field. In some of the cases, they may write a left link and right link also. Simply, they will write left and right. Variables, any variable name you can use, no matter. 
okay but concept is important so logic is different people will write a different kinds of logic right but finally the implementation should be same okay that is what we call algorithm so these are three types of linked list single linked list double linked list circular linked list in double linked list and circular linked list the node is having three fields one is a data field two link fields and here it is in a single linked list node is having only one field right so that is a data field and the next field of course it is mandatory field that is a link field so totally two fields it contains okay so this is about just a node type node structure sir so exactly how we are creating the node and how to allocate the memory dynamically right in a program how you will create a node all these things see how we are creating nodes in a single linked list here in a single linked list how the structure will be first i'll write node structures so this is first node this is second node this is third node and some of the nodes we are writing like this nodes at different memory locations suppose 9058 Seven double zero two five zero four eight two zero seven two seven two. So first, we have to create the structure. Struct name we are giving node. How many fields are there? Two fields are there. What is the first field? It is a data field. This is data field. and this is link field data suppose consider integer data 10 i am storing here it is integer data first field is of type uh, integer type we are storing information but see the second node it is holding the link sir what is that link 5048 we are storing here 5048 so that it is pointing so here it is second one is a link sir here question is link is of type what sir we know that in pointers we have a typed pointers and untyped pointers so typed pointers means the pointer always should pointing to a specific type of data integer pointer pointing to integer data float pointer pointing to float data array pointer pointing to an array structure pointer pointing to a structure so here the pointer is pointing to structure this is another node this is the type is a user defined data type it's a struct node type so it is a pointer pointing to user defined data type that is a struct node type so pointer link is of type what struct node type link is of type what struct node type these are the two fields first one is a integer field and second one is a link field that is a struct node type okay so this is a structure so remaining for example 20 and 7002 will be stored so that it is pointing next suppose here it is a 30 9058 and it is pointing and next one 40 no other thing so here it is we are storing null point no connection from the last node sir who is pointing the first node that you have to declare one pointer variable struct node star that is root variable first root get memory allocation first of all root get memory allocation sir how many bytes sir root is a pointer type variable root is a pointer type variable so how many bytes memory will be allocated generally a 2 bytes memory or 4 bytes memory depends on the size of the compiler we are using if you are using 16 bit pointer size is a 2 bytes if you are using 32 bit the pointer size is a 4 bytes so here it will occupy either 2 bytes or 4 bytes memory 2 bytes or 4 bytes memory so here it is in the root here it is what value will be stored sir how memory will be allocated to this node node creation okay node structure is okay but dynamically how the memory will be allocated to this structure that is important 
already we discussed how to allocate the memory to structures in dynamic memory allocation concept. So, what is the method we are using malloc method or malloc we can also call right a malloc method we are using see here it is malloc malloc and here it is what we have to pass how many bytes you have to pass occupy the memory that you have to pass we do not know because integer size we do not know and pointer size is also we do not know that is depends on the compiler directly you cannot give a 2 bytes or 4 bytes reason right that is from compiler to compiler pointer size varies. So, it is better to depends on a size of function. So, here it is size of size of a struct node directly node data type we are passing directly node data type we are passing size of struct node. So, malloc function allocates the memory sir how many bytes sir it will allocate only first one right this one will be allocated that we are collecting into root sir can we store directly first time you can assign the value directly and of course with the help of uh, some of the temporary variables and uh, some more logic is required to exactly assign the value to root variable that we will discuss briefly right. So, whenever we are discussing about uh, operations on a linked list single linked list this is just only a creation. So, as of now directly I am assigning this is not a correct way exactly root and here it is we are passing and we are converting into struct node type type casting because malloc function return type is a void pointer we know that it is a generic pointer common pointer it is returning already we discussed very clearly in a dynamic memory allocation in C language yes or no right here it is a malloc function is returning right void pointer that we are collecting into a variable root root is of type what struct node type. So, type casting is important. So, we are converting type casting. So, that 2072 will be stored into root it start pointing to this one always we are maintaining only the first node address into the root variable all the remaining nodes connected from one node to another node that is what we call a linked list this is completely dynamic there is no static memory allocation for this one nothing but for the linked list ok. And uh, how to perform all the operations how to insert the element how to append the element how to delete the element nothing but how to delete a node first node how to delete right middle node how to delete last node how to delete how to display how to sort the elements how to swap two elements nothing but two nodes how to swap all these operations will discuss in the next session ok. For more videos please subscribe to Naresh IT channel thank you thank you all.